welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the second Craig Lache here on my cask. It's a 17 year old, 46% ABV, uncolored, unchill filtered and priced around 80 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. I said a lot about Craig Lache in the 13 year old video. No, the whiskey about the 13 year old whiskey. Uh, what they use as warm tubs and so on. And on this one, there is a story uh, uh, written down that uh, first it's rested in handmade oak cast for a minimum of 17 years for rich full character. When the, uh, the casts are handmade, then it might not be the case that they are come from those huge American automated cast factories but they're made really from hand, from staves, yeah. Um, with flavors reminiscent of toffee and dried fruits. Dried fruits, that sounds like sherry casts. Probably some of it in eight, 17 years. Guaranteed small batch, all our spirit made on the same stills in a single season. So this is definitely everything from a single season. So they do not mix older and younger, where the youngest is 17 year old. So. I think they are all 17 year and a day or 17 years and a week old. Yeah. And on the back, they say their own malt. Our malt is not supplied to any other distillery uh, because they are producing quite a lot for the blended whiskey industry as well. Uh, it has a uniquely heavy character, which we preserve by grinding it finer than anyone else does. And that's a problem because Fine grist typically clungs up uh, the sieves, everything inside the system, and you have to clean it up. But they said they have an efficient Steinecker mash tun. It is also shallower and drains better than the deep tons do. So with the fine uh, ground uh, barley, uh, and they have not that thick layer where the water uh, salutes out the sugars uh, from the mash, but it's uh, only a little, it's not that high. So it's slimmer, yeah. Holding onto less water so that the malt character is less diluted. So when we say Craig Lache is a malt whiskey, we mean it. Yeah, very good. So uh, you do not only have, you do not ha have the uh, special uh, warm tubs in the f uh, fabrication process, but you have the uh, Steinecker mesh tun as well, which I did not know before. <laughs> yeah. So immediately before this one, I had the 13 year old so that I can make a comparison between those two. And the 13 year old had been very fresh and uh, citrus notes in it. Citrus note tea? No, you don't tell that. Say that. No. So this one is darker. Sherry. Full, deep, fruity caramel. Really good. The maltiness is there, but it smells a little bit different to the typical uh, malty flavors coming out of the mash houses you smell everywhere in the space side. This is a little bit different, but it's definitely malt. Yeah, cheers. Hmm. Mmm, this is good. Wow, it's mouth-watering, juicy, sweet, citrus notes again in the bag, oakiness. Wow, that's a really good one. In the aftertaste, there's more oakiness interwoven with the uh, citrus notes 
little spiciness on the tongue. Not too much. It's not that sharp as the are spicy, peppery, uh, cinnamon sharp as the 13-year-old is. And the spiciness is already gone. So this is a more gentle. It's intense, massive, but more gentle than the 13-year-old. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can really recommend this one. It's a well-matured, interesting, complex whiskey. And look at this appearance, these, oh, what is, copper stitches from the Victorian ages. This is a wonderful gift with a very, very good content. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.